If you want to learn the one tactic that makes it super easy to rank higher in Google in just about 10 minutes, I'm going to show you how and we're starting right now. If you want to transform your website into a customer or lead generation machine, I'll show you all my best tips, tactics, and secrets to get there fast. Let's dive in. Hey guys, Wes McDowell here for The Deep End. And if you're not subscribed yet, just go ahead and click the subscribe button and the little bell icon so you never miss another video you need to succeed online. Now I'm really excited to share this tactic with you today. We're gonna to be talking about one of my favorite methods for almost instantly raising your Google rankings for your website. Now as much as I'd like to take credit for this method, I can't. Um, it was introduced to me a few years ago by Andy Crestadina. But as we know with Google, things change, including the tools and the overall algorithms that are used. So basically this video is more or less an update of what he taught me to do several years ago uh, using a different tool, but overall the concept is the same. So basically what we're doing is we're identifying pages on your website that almost rank. We're gonna identify those pages and make a few really simple tweaks to them to push them onto the top page, possibly the top positions within a Google search. So if you're ready to go, uh, we're gonna jump right on over to the computer. Okay, so here we are on the Google Search Console. Um, the, the old way to do this that I talked about used Google Analytics. The, the problem with Google Analytics now is that uh, they don't report most of the keywords that people find you for. So now you, Google wants you to go to Search Console for that. So the thing is you have to be set up on Search Console to be able to use this method. So if you're not already, go ahead and get set up on it. There's many videos on YouTube that'll teach you how to set it up. Uh, so go set it up. And then unfortunately, you're probably gonna have to wait uh, a few weeks to a month to get enough data to really get going with this. But if you are already on Search Console, let's get started. So from the dashboard, you're just gonna go over to, on the left-hand side where it says Search Traffic, and then Search Analytics. So click that, and then we're gonna make a few changes here. So all we're gonna do is click on impressions and position to load up a little bit more information. And then we're just gonna go down, down the page here. So basically it is now showing us all of the keyword phrases that we rank for. So what we wanna do is we wanna, um, we wanna put these in order of position. So just go ahead and click position once, and that way it's gonna load it from the, all the, words you rank first for all the way down through the lowest ranking ones. So it puts them in a nice order so we can see what we're up against. So remember how I said what we wanna do here is find those keyword phrases that we almost rank well for. Now, how I would identify that would be anything between the fifth position and the 20th position because anything after the fifth position really gets very little attention and then anything between 10 and 20 is gonna be considered to be on the second page of Google. So if you can get from the second page to the first page, that's gonna be a pretty big win. And if you can get from the f number five to 10 positions to the one through four positions, that's also gonna be a really big win for you. So let's go ahead and scroll down the page and I'm gonna go ahead and load it to show 500 rows just to show everything at once. And they're all going in order here. So I'm gonna look at everything starting from five onward. So basically what I want you to do is look at all the search terms and find ones like you're gonna to wanna to prioritize by importance for your business. So in other words, which of these keywords shows some actual buyer intent? See, for me, a lot of these aren't super relevant and I wouldn't really wanna pursue them because they're old blog posts that were just made for graphic designers. So they wouldn't really do me much good in getting new clients out of it. So I'm gonna ignore most of these and I've identified one that I'm actually gonna concentrate on today. So let me go find that. And here we go, here it is, web consulting. So as you can see, my average position is 7.9. So let's just call it, I'm normally in the eighth position for that. And this number, this 860 refers to the number of times my listing was showed to somebody. And then we've got 11 times that it was actually clicked on. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is definitely find the words that, are, that show the most buyer intent that would be beneficial for you to rank for. And you're also gonna weigh that against the, the number of impressions. So 
if, if one were really strong and it was gonna do a lot of good for your business, but only one or two uh, people ever saw it, that, that kind of tells you that there's not a whole lot of searches for those keywords. So the fact that it's a great keyword for my business and it has 860 impressions tells me that if I were to rank a little higher for this, I could probably get a lot more clients. So once you've picked out a search term that you wanna try to improve, or maybe you have a couple, you're just gonna click this little arrow over here on the right. And then you're just gonna come right up here and click on pages. That tells you, so now we already know what the search terms that you are ranking for are, but now this is gonna tell you which specific pages those are, because think about it, if you have a bunch of search terms, those aren't all going right to your homepage, right? They're going to, some might be going to your homepage, some might be going to service pages, some might be going to blog posts. So now I've identified that this page, the deependdesign.com slash Web Consulting Internet Marketing is the page that I need to make my changes to. Okay, so once you've identified the page that you wanna edit and the actual keyword phrase you wanna rank for, you're gonna to go to that page. So this is basically the dashboard of my WordPress website. So here we are in my WordPress dashboard. So this is the behind the scenes of this page. So here we have the title and here we have some of the content, so the written content on the page. So we're gonna take a look at a few things to see where we can't improve to rank a little higher for that keyword phrase. And remember, the phrase we're going for is web consulting. So right off the bat, I see a few things. So we have the title, which says website consulting. So what if I were to just delete the website and now it's web consulting that works. And we also have right here, we have the website address, the website URL, which is website consulting internet marketing. We can change this if we wanted to. We could change it to web consulting and leave it at that. However, I'm gonna caution you on that. If you're gonna change the URL, you need to make sure that you don't have a lot of links that are pointing to this page, because if you do and they're helping you rank, and then you change the URL, suddenly that link is broken and you're no longer getting the benefit of those backlinks. So make sure before you do that, that you won't be screwing anything else up. And yeah, you can always do 301 redirects, um, which is, sounds a little complicated, it's really not, but we're not gonna get into all that right now. We're just kinda doing a, a few quick, simple wins here. So let's just go ahead and click okay. And now we're gonna look at the some of the text on the page. So. Let's look for opportunities where we can work that keyword web consulting in a few times. Okay, and I found one right here. So it says the deep end is a full service website consulting. Again, we can just delete that. So it's web consulting. What we're doing, what we're trying to do is just add a few instances of the keyword so that Google really knows what it's about. So once you've got it, that in there a few times, um, and you don't have to keyword stuff, I wanna caution you against that as well. So there should be maybe a few instances where it says website consulting or web consultant. Google really has gotten much better in the past few years of understanding overall topics of a page. So it's not super necessary that we uh, make it exact keywords every time. So I'm just gonna do it a few times and we'll get on with the next thing that we wanna look at, which is if we go down the page, this is the web page's meta title and meta description. This is what shows in the search engine results. And in case you're wondering, I am using a plugin here called Yoast SEO. I highly recommend that. It makes it very easy to edit all this stuff on the fly, and I'll show you how it works right now. So we're just gonna click on Edit Snippet. So I'm just gonna change that again to Web Consulting. And then in the description, let's see what we can improve here. It says, struggling to attract customers with the DeepEnds website consultant. That tells me I think I was going for that term at one point. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and change it. I think it's gonna even sound better with, with the DeepEnds Web Consulting. So we've got one more instance of it there. And that's it. I'm just gonna go right on up and I'm gonna click Update to save the changes. It should be no more than a week before Google re-indexes the page. And hopefully we'll see a nice little boost in rankings because of it. All right, so that is my favorite method of improving your Google rankings in a really short period of time. Um, but I wanna hear from you now. I wanna know if you do end up using this method, I wanna know your results. So post your before ranking 
as well as your after ranking. Uh, usually it takes about a week to really see those results, but go ahead and post it in the comments when you have it. Or if you have any questions about any of this, just leave those in the comment section below as well and I'll get to them. All right, and if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and click the circle icon right over here to instantly subscribe. And if you've not accessed my free mini course, how to guarantee website ROI, I want you to click the box right up here to access that. All right, guys, I'm Wes McDowell for The Deep End, and I'll see you in the next video.